to all welcome to the web application pen testing course now we've talking a lot about http verb tampering and unfortunately i think because most of the web servers aren't vulnerable anymore uh, it was pretty difficult you know to find a demo so what i've done is i've created a demo you know just because a majority of web servers uh, you know aren't vulnerable anymore doesn't mean you know you would never find one uh, i think even in enterprises where you may have a lot of legacy equipment and network sitting inside uh, you could probably end up finding such vulnerabilities now the other interesting thing is because http verb tampering typically ends up happening because of misconfiguration there is a high likelihood that some admin would end up doing this mistake so really i do not see this going away you know entirely uh, probably for a long time okay so what i've done is i've created a demo application and here it is it says pen tester academy enter at your own risk <laughs> uh, which you guys have right you already subscribed and let me go ahead and uh, click on submit so that we can enter and unfortunately it seems to ask us for a basic auth so let's say yes yes is it working vivek a b c d isn't working right and if i do a cancel unfortunately i get an authorization required prompt not too good right and this is something which i think a lot of us commonly encounter now a lot of things may be happening in the background uh, when you get an authorization required prompt which means you don't have a set of auth credentials now one of the possible ways this can happen uh, is because of an ht access file of course uh, and in that really the web admin has gone ahead and put out Uh, certain restrictions probably for valid users or a specific group of users you really don't know uh, but for verb tampering to go ahead and become applicable he would have gone ahead and limited uh, access also based on the request method now if you notice that is typically done using the limit keyword uh, in an apache ht access file now what this is saying is limit access to this resource only via post for valid users unfortunately what this also means is that any other request method would end up becoming valid and does not require any form of authentication right and this misconfiguration is what leads to http verb tampering okay so now let's go back in here and here is what i'm going to do i'm going to go back and make a request via curl and let me try and make a post request let me check really if we require any form of uh, post variables to be sent in so i can do a quick view of page source and looks like there are no other post variables all it does is basically takes us directly inside the secret folder right so let me go back in here just say i want to do this as a post uh and let me mention the url 192.168.1.11 secret right this is what we could gather based on what we've seen right now so let me run this and clearly as expected we see authorization required right this is the error which we are also getting uh, or the prompt rather which we are getting when we use the web browser now i have already sshed into 192.168.11 and as i showed you on the slides this is how the ht access file looks like now unfortunately rather than limiting slash secret based on just users and not specifying any specific http method uh, this admin has decided to use the limit keyword along with the http method post so unfortunately 
what this really means is if we go back in here and just change the access method to a get right boot right we go ahead and now get index of secret and this time seems to be we get a 200 okay which is really really shocking right because just by changing the request method we have been able to authenticate to the web server right and honestly I mean pretty much when we did the submit query and we did the cancel to access this resource all we had to do is just hit an enter on the browser simply because that would simulate a get request and there you go right you can see the secret and the other files which are in there so this is a very simple example of HTTP verb tampering and uh, this specific HT access file and all of this do not worry I'm going to probably go ahead and uh, put it out there in the next video uh, all I'm trying to figure out is how to package this in a way so that you can download and get started rather than having to do all the installation and copying the files and all of that so I'm trying to build a really small VM and if you're watching this video maybe a couple of weeks later or even days later uh, you should find that right uh, find it available for download that's all for this video guys thank you see you in the next one bye bye